stand with the people. The champ is here. I will, I will not, not lose. lose. All right, man, man. I took up the world. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. You can be anywhere in the world, but you are here with me. Um, my name is EJ, and I got my man. Your mate. Yes, he is the DB of the show. We are black in sports, giving a voice to the culture that won't shove and dribble. And today, man, we're bringing you back inside the locker room to talk about topics in and around the game. Uh, MH, you ready to do this? Yeah, man, let's pot. All right, man, I love it. So, man, I want to talk about the White House, man. Like, it's a time-honored tradition. Um, I think um, it's funny how certain things become a part of sports, right? And I think this is one that, like, we really never talked about on the show. And I think, you know, the Aces just recently went there, our back-to-back um, Aces just recently went there for their trip. Um, and, like, the, the only person I can remember talking about is when we had Coach Marsh um, on the show, and he was just talking about his visit. So, you know, uh, we've had some championship people on the show, but Coach Marsh was, like, the only person, I think, that we ever asked about that. So, you know, he's got his um, – at least his second visit with the Aces. It may have three, man. So what do you think about when you say visiting the White House? What's the uh, like, first thing that come to mind? I mean, I think it's cool. Uh, I mean, as a as a, a former athlete, and I guess as a, a fan of the game and somebody that grew up loving sports, to your point, I, I think I did always kind of just think about the White House visit. That was like the in tradition of the champion. Um, I mean, I guess maybe views have changed a little bit, but I think, you know, if you ask me what my first – response of it is it's like you know cool it's a cool champion tradition it's cool i think it's dope now have you ever been to the white house like taking like you know um student trip or you know anything like the school or just you know is that something you want to ultimately take your daughter one day but have you, you been to the white house before i have i have and uh, i went as i think i was in middle school and and i was in early in high school and i don't know the nostalgia of it <laughs> I, I don't know if it, it didn't even meet I guess what I thought of the it magnitude was, yeah, of it magnitude. was right, like, yeah. Uh, but it's definitely something that you know I would love to take my daughter to. How about you? So, no, I've never been. Um, I'll just go into some of the monument type things because I think it was uh, we had a road trip um, one time. I think it was coming like down through the Virginia area, and we were just like, oh, let's stop and see some of the stuff. So like saw like the monument, um, you know, but just kind of like didn't want to go off too far so it didn't have like the passes and the things you need to do to get you know um, up on 1600 Penn Ave um, so but yeah something like maybe you know I want to do I don't know if the lore is there anymore like you said um, definitely if I was a sports figure it'd be dope you know to go on a day where a sports team you know as we work in sports and if one of our teams that we either work with or interacts with you know has a championship like I think that would be cool to culminate yeah. and it goes with the championship but personally no I've never been yeah. I mean, as a, as a sports part, you know, kind of on that, and I think we'll get into this on in the conversation. I, I wonder as we progress in sports, what are we going to progress to? Like the president always gets a custom jersey. And I think like, I, I guess as a kid, I thought that was like a really cool tradition. Now I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> right. He so, clocked no minutes, you yeah, know? I mean. Hey, hey what a rough thing. You wasn't you with me when you were shooting at the gym. <laughs> Can we give uh, Mr. President something else, or you know what I mean? Like you know, custom jerseys. I got custom jerseys. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just... I'm with you on that, man. So that's we should shoot out some new idea, like you know, because if you've gone a multiple times, like okay, it's another jersey. Like you know, is it a retro jersey that you're doing? Like, are you naming it something different? Like, especially yeah. if it's the same administration, right? So it's like, can we get some custom sneaks out here? Can we get some, some like? Sneaking? Uh, get, you know, get get a uh, replica of the trophy with some other stuff on. Like, so, yeah, we can we can get past the custom jersey, like you know, we especially like yeah. you know, like anniversaries, like how they talk about different year anniversaries, like this is the diamond and the silver anniversary. Like if you go yeah. back to back, like okay, maybe we'll do the jersey the first time, but like damn, yeah. like come can with we, something a little different. Yeah, <laughs> can we update that gift? <laughs> but, um, so you know, as we do. Always uh, just doing a little show prep. And it's funny. It's like attempting to find the timeline, right? Because like a lot of things, you know, in our history, people just do because, like, oh, shit, we've been always doing it, right? So when did, like, it actually start? And there was just kind of like a couple of things to where it didn't 
it had like multiple dates. So it was one of the things where it said in August 30th of 1865 was the first time a president had a champion to um, the White House. And at that time, though, it was minor. It was not minority. It was minor league teams because minorities probably wasn't. <laughs> that, wasn't that wasn't happening. That wasn't that wasn't happening. But it was minor league teams. It was two minor league baseball teams that uh, President Jackson brought in. And that was like the first record of like, you know, probably there's historians that do this forever kind of stated. But um, then the next kind of like big time, like the first professional team was Boston. And which, again, there's probably not a, black, a lot of black people. No, I'm going to quit. <laughs> but um, John F. Kennedy in 1963 bought the uh, Boston's when they uh, Boston won one of their championships. So that's when you start to kind of get the timeline. So I wonder, like, where that idea came from. Like, Was it just like he was a big fan of the team and just like, yo, I want to bring him in? Like, I wonder how, like, that thought came through. Like, hey, let's just invite them to the, to the crib, have them come over. You know, have some sandwiches with the crust cut off, and let them like take a tour, a tour of the spot. Yeah, I, I think it's probably like what you said. I think he's probably a fan. That's the great thing about sports is, in its rawest, purest form, is is competition, and um, you know, it brings it's a it's a great equalizer for society in such a way. So, no matter where you are in your walks of life or in your actual profession. A lot of folks are fans of stuff, uh, a fan of it. So it might just be like, hey, I'm the president. <laughs> that part. I hey. just, I want to meet this team. And let's hey, tell, bring them. Hey, yeah. Tell them to come through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so, and then, like, I, I guess um, the first duel, and I like, I just picked out, like, just some random dates that was just kind of cool, just stuck out to me. So in 1980 was the first time there was a duel, like, team which I think that's kind of messed up, right? It's like, yo, like, we don't get our own day. We got to come with another team, so we don't even get uh, our own shine. Right? That's kind of like Two different right? leagues or whatever? Two different leagues, right? So it was um, it was football and it was baseball. So they both came out and they both had their day with the president or whatever. Now, I guess the only correlation is, you know, it was a championship town called Pittsburgh. Um, so that's when they had the uh, Pirates and the Steelers both came down so like that in the nature is kind of cool so it'd be definitely cool to hear like some of the uh people from the team like how was it to kick it with the people you kick it with in town you know that you probably know um but just representing your city so that was kind of cool i mean one part you're like well you know i want my own day but you know the steelers went back a couple more times in that decade so you know sharing it with, the, with someone else in the town is probably not you know such a big deal yeah <laughs> i mean i guess too and then I think it's kind of happened maybe in the past or maybe it's a tradition or maybe I just truly don't know it. They, they, it seems like folks visit the white house or teams visit the white house when it's like their schedule. Like, so who coordinates that? You know, it's like, ah, uh, um, I, I, except for the aces recently, I don't know, you know, maybe they have something going on in Washington or whatever the case is, but usually it's like, ah, oh, we're going to play the Wizards or somebody this week are in baseball. We're playing. Well, I don't know if there was a, at that time, there wasn't a Washington team. So maybe it has nothing to do with their schedule too. Well, but that's the thing, right? Like, because when do the Super Bowl? Cause I don't even remember, but like, when do they go? Like some teams go on off season. Right. But then mm -hmm. it's like, <clears throat> do I want to go on my off season? Like, <laughs> I don't want to see you till it's time for me to collect my check. And so, like you said, I think the Aces, who just recently, like we said, just came back, they just went there, and oh, their season's about to start soon. And it's there, you know, it's like during their season. And I think they were down um, when they played Puerto Rico um, with at the uh, where they play uh, South Carolina, you right. know, like Mars to Asia. And I think they, they kind of started. Yeah, that makes made sense. the whole. You're on the East Coast, right? So they just made that whole kind of thing. So. And it's interesting. Like, I wonder how you get selected, right? Like, does the whole staff, community, organization, like, uh, <laughs> uh, like you said, get to go, or is it like select members? You know, because I wonder what that count is for for them to go. That's a good question. I mean, you know, only a certain people probably make it up actually on, you know, on the podium or on stage with the president. But hey, there might be some folks that at least got the tour. At least. <laughs> so, equipment least manager number. Four. Equipment manager number four, he get to go. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that's a big. That's they a, might who, the picture. Hey, okay. Here's a question for you: Who pays that tab, right? Like, because, because, like, are you inviting me? 
right? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we we'll use some tax dollars <laughs> on it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure we, pass, we pass past out the collection plate to oh, get those teams in. So, all right. So, um, <laughs> that's what. <laughs> Ronald Reagan. Well, I'm, I'm not. Come on, like that's an expense. Right? Uh, it is an expense for sure. Like, and then it's like you start getting sponsored. Like, hey, I sponsored the Aces to go to the White House. It, you, know, it, you know, you know how I know somebody's paying for it. And shout out, <laughs> and shout out to uh, my man Gold Shoes because he he uh, when one of the college teams didn't he bring some like Big Macs and stuff. He like, yes, oh, man, we paid. He's like, we ain't doing all this fake stuff. Like, we gonna do it like this is what y'all used to. We ain't doing lobster and all that. <laughs> y'all nah. got big money. This is what yeah, y'all, y'all bring, How many y'all say y'all bringing? There's 120. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to do the big match. They kids like, anyway. We're, we're going like, to get you a combo. Don't yeah. be trying to supersize that shit. Here. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's paying that ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so finally, the only thing that I could find, and this is where we love for y'all to chime in, you know, any historic buffs, you know, people that, you know, just kind of want to dig into this. We like to share information, but Ronald Reagan was the one that made it like consistent to where it was like a normal practice to kind of bring all the level of teams, um, you know, from pro to college and things like that. So he was the one that made it like a regular occurrence during his presidency. It just really kind of kicked it off. But it's um, it's just funny how they have their different stories, right? Like. I think you think about going for the first time and you have teams that are going multiple times, right? So you have the Bulls, you have the Patriots, you have the Steelers, early Steelers and late Steelers, right? Um, what's the motivation or the hype to go there, right? Like after you've done it twice, you know, like what are you what are you looking for or, or what are you what are you looking to do? I, I don't know. I think it's uh, you know, another piece of I would probably say celebrating the championship. I mean, in the team sport or anything, when you get to the top of the mountain, you know, you want to pat yourself on the back for as long as you can. So maybe that's just the tradition of, hey, this is maybe the final piece of celebration to what we did as a as a unit or a team. Maybe. And I guess another thing would be like your plus one, though, right? Like or plus two, whatever your your thing is, right? So if you got a big family or like if you you know husband wife or you know whatever the situation. You know, you know, you bring your husband the first time or you bring your kid the next time or whoever it means the most to. So I think those are maybe the subtle changes, you know, and if you get <laughs> McDonald's, you know, the one time under one era and then you get, you know, something different under another era. Um, you know, I think it. I think it's um, and I wonder the other thing with the scheduling. Right. I think it's what's going on in the world, too. Right. Like, you know, what was it like when we were in wartime? Right. Um, what was it like? when certain tragedies or certain things are going on, um, how they schedule or, or maneuver that, or, you know, if, if people get passed up, like COVID year, what, uh, did, did everybody get to go COVID year? Uh, uh, they you know, they, they put it on Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> Real talk. So uh, one of the other things that kind of came up was to talk about like the notable people that didn't go, right? Okay. So one, I was surprised that, Two, I was like, oh, that makes sense, too. But, like, one of the first ones was Larry Bird that mm -hmm. they talked about. And I was like, oh, I don't – but Larry's like a – Larry don't give a fuck. <laughs> so when they asked why Larry didn't go, he's like, the, the president knows where to find me. Mm -hmm. shout, shout, shout out to another <laughs> – shout out to another show that we we, we worked on, Jokic, Yo probably the same thing. 100%, right? Like, you know, sort of find me. It's, it's not that big a deal for him, right? Like, I just want to play ball. I don't need to go do that, you know. Um, another big name, uh, the GOAT, your GOAT, MJ. He didn't go? He didn't go. Um, for which one? Like, he hasn't gone for, I mean, because he won. I want to say it was the second time he didn't go. All right, okay. What was he doing? And he, he was golfing. <laughs> Had like, a tea time. I got that's a tea time because like add some money on the line. That part, hey, <laughs> it's a big, big check. So I'm trying to trying to get in the green or get in the black. I should say. Mm -hmm. um, James Harrison was an interesting one, and I kind of remember this, but his just like was all over the place because he missed two administrations, right? So some people like would go into like those political beliefs, and you know, if that's your thing, that's your thing. You know, stand on 
you know, whatever ground that you feel and have the strong beliefs in. But he missed both uh, administrations. So he missed Bush and Obama. So it wasn't like he was really standing on anything. He just like, mm, I'm not going to that. And which seems like a very James Harrison thing, though. Like if you like know his whole, <laughs> they used to call him Debo. <laughs> yeah. Walk up and practice. So it's like, that's just kind of him. And then later it was said, they attempted to like skirt it. And it's like, oh, it's because of his fear of flying. Mm. It's like, you fly the game, so like, unless they knock him out, and he's just like one less one one less thing I want to fly to. Yeah, facts. Um, and the last one I give you is a uh, TB12 man. So he didn't go, and I think that was kind of really strongly kind of said, um, and that was because of an administration, and we know who his alliances and his ties yeah. are with. Sure. So so he's just like, nah, I'm I'm, I'm cool on that, and like. It's definitely one of those things he's been a couple of times too, right? So right, it's not like he's missing out on a lot. So I think all stuff that's interesting, um, I don't know. I don't, I think when you, like you said, when you celebrate, like, why would you not go? Mm-hmm. At least the first time, despite whatever differences and things you have, because it's all about like celebrating you, you know. But uh, I'm definitely on how do we figure out what the other gift is. Yeah, we, we, we got to update the gift. And, you know, uh, I guess uh, I don't I don't know, you know, we'll, we'll say whatever Tom Brady said or whatever Larry or we're infused with Magic, Michael Jordan. Um, I guess there's a different level of responsibility when you're sort of the face of the team uh, where you if, if you're not there, it makes the whole <laughs> trip a little awkward, I guess. I don't know. Maybe maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Um, and, and there were some teams that just chose not to go, right? At least during yes, 45s, uh, you know, time period. Like, they just was it the Warriors? I, I can't remember, but there were some teams that, yeah, just was, was like, no, we, we cool, we, we cool on going. So, I don't know, I, I don't know. And then, I guess, you know, uh, what are the sports? I know we know of the ones that we're kind of locked in with. Uh, but it's, I mean, there's a lot of sports, you know. Is my man, uh, you know, what, what do we get? What do we what what constitutes you as going to the wilds? Just so, I think it's a I think it's the core four, you know, um, mm-hmm. because uh, they were talking about like um, hockey was the first time hockey came was another Pittsburgh team. The Pittsburgh Penguins went in like '91 or somewhere in the '90s when they won, okay. um, and like that was the first hockey team and you got to think probably because a lot of us uh, hockey teams weren't winning the cup right, right. so then like you can, you're not inviting you know teams from up north to, to, to come but, to my house to that point yeah like okay. Toronto Maple Leafs live when I don't I don't know if they're even good now but like if right. they win are they inviting them there you know I don't think it's an invite I think it's a if y'all want to come you know holla at me <laughs> <laughs> and and back to the who's paying for that right like are we using taxpayers' funds to, to bring some people from up north down, right? Yeah. So that's that's the whole – and the pay-for thing, like, that really just kind of came – I wonder who's paying for that. That's a, a hell of a question right there. Somebody's paying for it. Somebody's paying for it. Maybe even you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, you've seen college teams have come down, like, so college yeah. basketball. I don't really know if uh, – did Michigan go? Like, I haven't really heard – or think about like the college championships, right? Because you go from before the championship, it was like a vote. So do you bring right. people who they voted for it down, like to which I guess if it's a vote, that's kind of a whole uh government kind of thing. So why not bring them? But um I don't I don't know. I know the women's and men's basketball NCA have been there, you know, but I don't know if it's just the professionals that mainly go. Or if it's like a request, like I wonder how the, that's a good thing. If anybody knows the process, <laughs> please yeah. let us know. <laughs> please and, let us and, know. Can the Rock somehow manage to get his UFL team? <laughs> <laughs> yes, like, are the are, 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 are the are the, are the Dallas Rough Riders or Roughnecks or or <laughs> are they going? Yeah. All right, like I mean, is the WWE champ? Like, if he wins SummerSlam, does he get to go? I mean, at least WrestleMania. <laughs> I mean, at least uh, I don't know. It's the way sports is changing, how international it is. 
now, like, you know, I wonder how that changes. Or how, if it how changes. They feel. Right. Like, we don't mm-hmm. care, you know, but it's, it's still the staff and the, you know, the organization because the team is more than just the players on the court, right? So, yeah, 100%. And is that a, a thing also just to get more notoriety around your team, right? Like, that's just one more thing to talk about your team, like when, um, when KC goes to the White House, right? Like, it's another thing to, like, oh, KC's at the White House and here's what right. they did. You know, the president, you know, made a joke because, like, that's some of the things that they talked about, like, you know, because it's, it's TV time for both of them, right? And it depends on are we in an election year, you know, are you attempting to win over fans and trying to trying to relate, you know, in a sense. So, because um, they just, a lot of clips, they show, like, Ronald Reagan throwing a pass <laughs> to one of the receivers in the green, like, you don't want to see a bunch of old ass dudes. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what's <laughs> funny about that? <laughs> so I saw a tweet today, and I'm going to take this to a fashion thing. But um, I saw I saw a tweet today that said the NBA may go back to dress code for for coaches. Remember they, you know, because the coaches now can just kind of wear. We'll sweat suit, whatever, whatever they got, you know, drive, whatever, mm-hmm. drive, right? Yeah. And uh, but now I think it's gone to like they they saying it's kind of up for voting. They might do that, but I wonder if that came out after uh, our our local coach, our head coach, was just like, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna pull up in you know when I'm ready to the game type thing, because the whole team is to the nines, and then coach is just like. Hey, you know, I'm wearing the blaze with the hoodie. With That's my style. That's what I do. <laughs> That's like, All right, man. We got to go back to the dress code, bro. Like, <laughs> Shut that down. Shout out to Becky. Yeah, man, absolutely. <laughs> had a whole, had a whole culture staff rock. But it's a uniform, though, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> they're all in it. Everybody else with Achilles was showing, and Becky Hand was just like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> Coach was just like, yeah. Coach was like, yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm and I'll see you again next year. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anything else, man? Final thoughts? Nah, nah, nah. I'm, I'm interested in uh, our, our, our listeners' feedback on this. Uh, we got some very educated folks, so put yeah, us up um, the game. Especially those we've interviewed that have been to the White House, like you know, maybe know the inner workings and like when you have to decide if you want to go, who you can bring, just all of that information. Because well, it's just. What's the menu looking like? It's like a it's like a like a wedding reception where you get two options. I got the fish, or did you get the fish or the steak? Like, what, what's that look like? It's a buffet style. It's like it's so many buff- things. Right. A lot of, a lot <laughs> of things that we chicken. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we trying to share. Make sure everybody eats, baby. <laughs> so, and that's the thing. Like, who just who comes up with the menu, right? Like, how did one group got you know Burger King or McDonald's, whatever Big Macs, and then you know. Is serving chicken to a bunch of people that play basketball or like a, I mean, a bad move? They, they got, got chefs. They got chefs. So you can't come out to them with no like you know big bags. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yeah. So hey, if you know anything about this, please comment. You know, would you want to go to the White House? So answer that one. Like if you uh, had the opportunity, you were on a winning sports team, would you go? Or would you not go? Definitely tell us why. And then uh, yeah. We thank you for watching, man. Please check out. We drop a new episode every Thursday. Uh, We're everywhere that you listen to podcasts. So please like, follow, subscribe, and share. And as we always say, man, please stay safe, practice gratitude, and know we're rooting for you. Screaming all this black. Got it, sports and entertainment until we even. Assuming you're rooting for everybody that's black. Uh huh. Yeah. Sue me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Yo, 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 yo. Sue me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. Smack about to racks on hand made you rags. Sue me, I'm rooting for everybody that's black. I'm sorry, everybody from sports to college class to rap. rap.